Hello, and welcome back to this Trails into Reverie, Reverie Let's Play with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we did one of the daydreams. In today's episode, we're going to do one of the games, and we're going to continue our Magical Lisa journey, which is about a dark, evil prince. Magical girl, Elisa LS. As we've got here... We've done all of these, we did the first one. Let's move and gun them. Today we play the Star Ritter Strike. I'm gonna play them normal. I do not control side scrollers, so this is gonna be interesting for me. Episode 2 Stall Ritter Strike! I'm guessing we're gonna get Jubilee and the like. Inspired to save their beloved classmate Elisa from mortal danger. Yuna and Musei chose to become the Magical Girls. They took up their newfound duties with aplomb, working to repel the Underworld's forces one after another to keep them from stirring up trouble. With all their sparkling charm and spellbinding efforts to trounce the enemy for good, New Twists continue to lie in wait just around the corner. Okay. Every second, every moment, demons from the underworld try and sneak their way here. What does that mean? It means you got a patrol. We're in a Tokyo-looking back street. If only I could. The newest enemy I've been simply enamored with is set to air this evening. Need to go home now to catch it. You're playing hooky again over anime? What gives? Your excuse last time was that there was a clearance sale you couldn't afford to miss. I figured you'd just be hurting for Mira. That's a generous assumption. She's like she's walking around with cash to spare. You're not telling me she's lying to us. Is it true, Musee? Say it ain't so. No, no. No need to kick up a fuss. Even if I can't say, a girl's gotta have her secrets. I'll see you later. ta, -ta Oh no, don't run away from me. What the fuck is Mona? Hold on, Mona. If anyone sees you, we'll be in trouble. Relax, if anyone. If I see anyone, I'll flop over and pretend to be a sweet con mula bushy. Uh, uh, um, did you say something? I'm just a rabbit. Sweet corn mushy bushy. Nothing else to see here. This is so bizarre. Nope, you must be hearing things. I guess so. Stepping on me right, I'm on me. Huh? I could have sworn I stepped in something soft and squishy, but I don't see anything like that on the ground. Just how fast is the little guy? Of course you don't. They must be seeing things, feeling things, straight up imagining all kinds of things. I guess so again. I guess so again. Oh, that was horrible. I thought I was done for. Quit your whining. I'll throw you in the washroom when we get home. Leave you to dry in the sun. That's the problem solved. You'll be good as new. I only pretended to be a plushie. I'm a living, breathing creature. I, I don't want to be hung out to dry. Ladies and gentlemen, I am 30. Making weird sounds. Anyway, <laughs> it's from Allie. Hey, Allie, how's it going? Did you end up trying that pancake joint I was telling you about? Yes, the pancakes were very delicious. Glad to hear it. Let me know if you ever got a hankering for some ice cream. I've got a great spot in mind for you. Understood. Wait, I didn't call you to talk about food. It's an emergency. What happened? A considerable spike in mana was detected earlier in town. Whatever the source, they seem like more than your typical enemies. It's not good. So where in town exactly? You'll find them in the shopping mall over by the station. Thanks. I'll go show their faces during big shopping hours, huh? Let's go show their face placements the pavement is said. Come on. You and I both know I'm no good in a fight now. You go ahead, okay? I'll catch up later. Got it. Magical girling. I'll come with you now. Dear Lord, we're in the mall. It's too quiet here. Look who decided to join us. Musei, what are you doing here? Now it's you. Did you sense the weird Mon uh, Ma Mona Lee decided to check it out too? Not necessary. But something is off. I don't understand what's happening. Just like that, every one of the mall guards fell asleep and transformed before the same thing could happen to me, but still. So everyone here is knocked out. Right, I haven't got a clue as to how you go about waking them. 
Are you doing okay? You seem pretty shaken up by the whole thing. I'm fine, really. Well, we know for a fact there's a huge champion manor around here. Maybe that's got something to do with it. Most probably. Indeed it does. And that's why we, the Starlet, are now claim this area as our domain. The Star Ritter? You're the ones behind knocking everyone out. Wake up these mall goers and let them go. Now. If you don't, we'll make you. Ha. <laughs> Muse? I wasn't expecting you to strike without warning. Your aim is commendable, but it will take far more than that to defeat the likes of us. You have to be kidding. I thought I caught you by surprise, then surely... These two are innocent and Naya, so major warmongers. Oh my god. And toughest generals in the underworld army. They're bad news. We should run for it. Poor thing. I hate to tell you this, but you're not going anywhere. Uh, 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 how can they be so strong? If we don't think of something soon, we could be in lethal danger. It's time we end this. But what? Not so fast. Here comes the magic girl, Altina. Ellie, you here? I recognize you. We used to stand with the Dark Prince. Have you turned your back on him and the Underworld Army? I will always be loyal to the Prince. Even now, I, my hope is to do whatever it takes to make him act normally again. That means forcing the Underworld Army instead of standing with it, then so be it. Facing, sorry. How cool. I applaud your valor. Would you look at that? The Arcus 2 is resonating again. Are you telling me? Where the hell did you whip that from? You don't have pockets. Altina, take this. What for? The device will change your dark powers into light. So, we're gonna get magic girl, Altina. I am the light that shines through despair. Call me Magical Ellie. The magical girl of hope. The bunny rabbit. She transformed into a magical girl. Underworld demons can do that? This is the power of a magical girl. I'd say we got the upper hand. Now to launch our counterattack and... Stop. Why? You may think we're stronger with our numbers, but even with hope on my side, it's clear as day to me. We st we're stalled against the Star Raider. This can't be. Why do you think I said to run? And we will. With my powers, we can easily escape them. So let's retreat for the time being and think of a better plan of attack. If that's all we can do... Where's Muse? Yes, it seems we don't. Hmm. I told you, you aren't going anywhere. Open Dark Dimension. We got sucked up in there again? can't do this alone. You know, Muse, I need your help. Now let the battle begin! Okay, rail shooter time. I've forgotten the controls. So, Magical Alley is the girl of hope in the special shot. Okay, a speedy marksman. Hope is here! I'm Magical Alley! Try not to fall behind. Okay, A. Right back oh, at yes, you. it is. We all I remember. have to survive so we can go back home. I remember now it's uh, B to do a charge attack. Okay. Uh. Take him out. Oh look, there's a lot of them. I need to be vulnerable for a little bit. Seemingly. Oh god, this is hell. Take out the shield. Can I talk? I can, okay, that's nice. It's Actually, I think time. these moves might be better for us, weirdly. Oh my god, this is a fucking nightmare. Not 
magical Galaxia Heart! I forgot that we have this. Maybe I should have thought into that a bit earlier. That's fine. Let's we destroy everything. Engaging. Try and take them all down. Take him out there. Take out the little guy. Okay. Oh, Lord. I don't know if I did a good job there. I don't think I did. Let's take the draft. Keep it smashing. Boom. Nice, it didn't mean anything. Magical Excel Spark! Uh, absolute nightmare. Okay, I think we got him. We're going back to more side shooters. Fuck me. Looks like we got away. That was a close one. I don't think they followed us either. If they intend to do something inside of the mall, it's likely we can't stray too far from it. Seriously, Musei, what's gotten into you? You're unusually flippant and lighthearted. We're never of anything could get to you with how cool you managed to stay. Did something happen? Uh, I suppose I should come clean. The truth is I managed I managed that shopping mall. Huh? You know I lost my parents in an accident several years ago, don't you? I remember. All the money. Whoa! They were entrepreneurs, and in a way, this mall was the combination of their hard work. So when they passed, their pride and joy became mine. As luck would have it, I turned out to be quite an adept at running a business. Still, even if I'm adept, it takes all my time outside of school to keep it running as it does. That's why you hire people to run it for you. Um, it's no wonder you can't perform your magical girl duties. I wish you taught us before, Muse. I would have understood. I thought you were only ditching us so you could run off and have fun. Perish the thought. But if I knew a sweet frail me owned a whole shopping mall, wouldn't that put a rift between us? I'd say cutely naming yourself sweet and frail does that more. But seriously, we're friends. Maybe we haven't been friends for long, but you've always felt so capable to me. Doesn't surprise me that you're a businesswoman. I'm with you now. I'm both the sweet and frail thing and you being capable. You're gonna make me cry. But I'm good. But I'm so glad I told you. And I'll see why this is bothering me so much that invaders from the underworld have taken over the mall. I want to do all I can to protect my legacy. My parents left me. If only those demons weren't so strong. I'm stumped. Stumped is a pure excuse. We need the mall back, so we're taking it. It's kind of you to say, Juna, but what can we do? Uh, no dodging with weird answers. I'm not dodging anything. I just don't have any better ideas than you do. Maybe there really is something we can do. There is. Elisa. Where have you been all this time? I went to look for a solution. Or rather, bring the solution to ask. You don't mean... That she does. You look well, Mona. I've missed your found ro round fluffiness. You have some new faces with you. Okay. 
Magical girl Laura and Emma. Shut up. Aren't you Laura from Gendo Club and Emma from Literature Club? You guys know what's going on? Judging by their efforts, they, mo know, they more than know. These magical girl Laura and magical girl Emma were, according to my data, veteran magical girl players. Close, but your information is a little out of date. Our last venture made us realize we needed far more strength, so we trained independently to change our classes. You changed classes? Indeed. Okay, what are they? A mystical being, so my potential as a witch. I've been specialized in the ways of sorcery to become. Beautiful butterfly witch, Emma. And I elected to hone my physical skills. Mastering the Arsate School's ultimate techniques, I have awakened as. Princess Knight, Laura. God damn it. <laughs> Whoa. All of that flew over my head, I'm not gonna lie, but it sounds cool. With you helping us, we might be able to wipe the floor with them. I hate to break it to you, even with them, you won't be wiping anything. Why not? The Star Raider are dangerous, and they have the manager is particularly famed for her ability to absorb mana. That's why they decided to take over the mall in the first place, to amass mana out of all the people shopping there. And they then uses that mana to fortify herself, making her impervious to both blades and magic. Manager indeed. This made Ineas so invincible. Me trying to best them in the underworld is what put me in a mess I'm in with my abilities. The average person, my gets, actually gets a decent amount of mana to mana go. They simply don't know how to utilize it. Is that what gives human world a higher rate of magic girls' awakenings? I say that as a resident of the underworld. The more I think of it, the more I don't know how we could possibly defeat the Star Raider. With this much strength on our side, we must certainly have what it takes. I have a plan. Listen closely now. <coughs> Sorry, just coughing on all the, uh... All the cringe. Hmm? You're not getting away this. Time to take you down. Well, a dramatic exit. I didn't think you had a f f goal to follow, follow us again. Fools. Only defeat awaits those who defy us. Wouldn't be so sure about that. Let's do this. Go, go, Magic Go Rangers! No fright is too big to scare me away! It's time for Magical Yuna, the magical girl of courage! My feelings will embrace the world in a tender light! I am Magical Muse, the magical girl of love! I am the light that shines through despair. Call me Magical Ellie, the magical girl of hope. Here we go. If your magical girls are so confident, go for the text. I'd love to see you try. I see you're as tough as ever. I'll cover you. Your fight is with me, Anaya. With me. Double teaming won't get you very far against me, or any degree of teamwork. We'll see who has the last laugh. Now! Understood. An ambush! Now I see two. The advantage is ours. That means you've got to go. Do you intend to force us apart? Almighty Gate, beseech upon thee. Heaven thyself to send souls to the beyond. Okay, so we've got to defeat them in multiple variants. Inaya! Ugh! Sounds like Musei Plan is going off without a hitch. Gotta hurry and do my part. So someone's gotta keep Inaeus down or happy. Give me Uno second. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Right. Are we outside? You can stall us no longer. The Stall Ritter. It's time to accept your fate and, and surrender it. <laughs> Surrendered. You don't think you've won simply because you teleported me away from Ines, do you? Judging by the surroundings, we're still in town. It won't take me long for me to find her. No, won't take long for her to find me. It's adorable. You're putting on a brave face. Getting you away from the mall was much more important than spitting you in this up. Doing that sealed off your source of your powers. You can't do anything now. <laughs> 
It's clear to me why you gave no attempt to chase after us earlier. In order to absorb the massive amount of mana you needed, you have to choose where you intend to strike carefully. Stray too far and you are left with nothing to expend. If your partner did find you, you have no way of strengthening her like before. I can't believe you figured all of that out. You one sharp young lady. You've only just begun your journey as a magical girl, and she's thinking like someone who's been at it for ages, for years. Underestimate yourself as a piece in her game board at your own peril. Inaya. Forgive me, Ines. We've been truly had. You say, the mall goers woke up. None of them look worse for wear. That's good. Really good. But now it means we can all fight without having to hold back. We won't stand down because we, of your clever, clever tactics. We shall fight with all our might. Open Dark Dimension. Which is, again, the sea level. This is it. The humanity's sake, we gotta take down the Star Now Raider. let the battle begin! Okay. Uh, so, an assist to slowly generates health over time. I don't really care about that. Boost size and shots of charge strike sounds very good. I'm actually going to keep the invaluable one for now. Take them all down. Ah, oh, shit. I should have done better at dodging. Seemingly not having a great time. Oh, God. I'm actually going to switch, switch girl. It's a Kraken. Okay, nice. Take them all out. What's it gonna be? This thing's not too hard. I want something big so I can use the Galaxia Volleys. Nice. That felt like a good idea. Ah! Even if we get hit a little bit, it's fine. Uh, X to get Crescent healed. Crescent sure. heal. We'll do it. Like so. This thing's going down anyway. I shall we'll go. switch over to a different girl. Arcadius Ray. Magical Arcadius Ray. There's one down. There we go, nice. We got a sparkling strike as well on the good go. Oh, anything there? I wasn't expecting magical girls to put up such a fight. No matter of their strength, were there no match for the Star Raider. Where are they getting such a phenomenal amount of mana? I thought she could absorb mana. She couldn't absorb mana here. I forgot to mention, but at least I fought them in the underworld. They robbed her most of most of her strength. That's why she can't transform anymore. The strength is now theirs. They're using that now to retaliate. We got. It would have been nice to know that sooner. The princess in a dangerous spot. Alice was the first one among us to become a magical girl, so her manner is exceptionally potent. How can we overcome this? How pitiful. Ah. You're the girl who stepped on me. What's a civilian doing here? Jubilee? It really is you. Where have you been? Why can't you? Why haven't you been answering our calls to assemble? I believe this girl is Sir Duvely, leader of the Star Raider. She is thought to be missing for some time. No. Uh -huh. Of course she is. I'd rather we not have to fight another enemy. You've got it all wrong. I can take another minute of second-hand embarrassment watching you get pushed around. So I'm jumping in to lend you a magical girl's a hand. In comes magical girl. Jubilee. For what? You would turn your back on the underworld? Don't understand why are you? 
I explain after we fight and knock some sense into these two. Don't know how to process process first here, but if you want to fight with us, far be it up for me to say no. Pick an enemy and get their asses. Prism Assist. Uh, boost defense and speed. The Star Wars leader disguises a mild mannered schoolgirl. This is it! This is the end! Okay, boom. We need to brace ourselves for anything to bring the Dark Prince back to his senses. <laughs> okay, that's the plan, I think, is to try and take out Anaya first. So we'll try and take out this one first. I think that's the best course of action. Sparkling strike. Well, I mean, it's a lot. Arcadius Ray. Try and swap out the others. I mean, we don't need the heal quite yet, which is good. Take them all out. Oh. If they do a big boy again, we'll try and do that. I'm gonna take out one. Magical and self-smart! I mean, that's pretty well. Okay, I think we won. <laughs> oh god. That's how the magical girl of love I was accidentally works. in high speed mode as well. Cool, we get some shards. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. We, we, we've lost, haven't we? How about that? We won. That was a tough one. We only just managed to pull through. We're still in the thick of it. Look. Why, Jubilee? How could you betray the Underworld Army? Betray us? You're our leader. Before the truce a while back was made between the two worlds, I sneaked in to see what humans were like. I got as close and personal as possible. I disguised myself as a high schooler. Because that's where the reality lies, apparently. My investigation concluded that this board was well worth building a positive relationship with. But when I reported it to the senior command, an assassin was dispatched to take me out. You jest. I wish. That assassin came from my very own underworld army. The timing was too perfect. And they're perfectly capable of making it happen. I can't believe it. You of all people. Between that and the Dark Prince's sudden change in personality, something is clearly going on behind the scenes. The Underworld Army I was a part of is up to something nefarious, then I feel it's my duty to put a stop to it. Now that you know the truth, I'd like it if you helped me, Ines, Inea, would you? I don't know. No, no matter the reasons, desertion is desertion. You're satisfied with the way things are now? You're really satisfied with absorbing the manner of innocent civilians? We're never used to resort to that, not even against our enemies. Can't imagine this is something either of you want. You're only doing this because you were ordered to do so, aren't you? I would be lying if I said no. I can't tell what's going on with the Underworld or the Army, but I can tell you is that it isn't right. What better way to show the Star Raiders' loyalty to our realm than do our part to right its wrongs? Uh, well... Too true. How could we be such fools? You were so close to forgetting we swore fealty in the fir why we swore fealty in the first place. We win. We'll join you, Jubilee. Besides, all I'd do is worry if I knew you were taking tackling this on on your own. As would I. Part of our job is looking after you. You must reiterate, I am not a baby. <laughs> In the uniform you're wearing states otherwise. It was for a high school girl, you said. She's right. You look adorable and useful. Ugh. 
<laughs> They're teasing her so relentlessly, but from the looks of things, all has ended well. Yep, all ended super well. Things couldn't have turned out better. A few days later. Okay then, the next place is... Wait up. Ah, uh, hi there, Muse. How could you all not invite me? I thought we were friends. They d do you intend to join today's patrol? It's alright with you. From this day forward, you can count me as a much more proactive mem member in the Magical Girl duties. We're always gonna be okay with it, but don't you have the shopping mall to look after? I've been able to hire a lot of staff I can trust to handle some day-to-day -day responsibilities, thankfully. That and just how would business fair if demons were to run rampant, sales would plummet. At least do let me let me do my part to keep this town and the rest of the world safe. Now that's making the most of your time in monetary terms and virtuous terms. Of course, a good businesswoman knows that time is money, that's all. I don't think most business owners slot saving the world into their schedule. Well, there is one other reason I want to strap my magical stuff a bit more. Why? I've kept the secret to now, but we ain't such a dreamboat, isn't he? I've had my eye on him for a while. You what? What do you mean you've had your fee? Sorry, a very important sec. We're in the middle of a very important. No, my stuff's more important. The underworld army forces are beginning to make their move. You only might have time before the final battle kicks off. The kitty ninja herself. To be continued. Next time on Magical Elisa. No rest for the weary, huh? We might have taken down the mighty star at her, but the Underworld Army is right to run on your tail. They'll be in the human world before we know it. It's gonna take all of us magical girls, all from you, to enter the Underworld's infernal castle. Will it be easy? Oh no, I doubt it. But that won't be enough to stop us from trying to kick their sorry demon butts. Next Season time on Magical Girl Elisa, Infernal Castle Siege. What? This will be the last episode? Maybe. Magical Girl Elisa LS. There we go. And we've done all of those. So let's quit game. And we got Seraph and a magical costume set number two. How oh, very, very fun. Uh, items. <laughs> uh, so we've got some magical girl sets, equip. Does that mean I can make Altina, for example? Who was involved in that one? Musea, we already had her um, costume set. I do believe Jubilee was here. School girl Jubilee. There we go. So, we've got that. Let's go open those shards that we got. I see some fish swimming around. You certainly do. Juvali. And then the other thing we always do Millennial is check... Trove activated. Buy Curio Spy. Oh, I can't buy. We ain't buying no northern from there, I don't think. Right, the shards. Ceiling stones unsealable. This will come in handy. Nice. Some more stuff. But I'm going to say if you've enjoyed that Magical Girl episode, uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we'll head back to the Slamp of Remembrance. Peace.